Good morning! Oh my gosh. I've had three cups of coffee so far. <laughs> oh. Oh my. And no food. And you are taking up the center of the camera. It's my big personality. <laughs> Is that what it is? <laughs> what are we watching on that the zoo show? Oh yeah. The sassy. Every, has a every sassy animal is sassy or has a big personality <laughs> or they're feisty. Or... If you have Disney Plus, do you watch the uh, Animal Kingdom Zoo? What is it? Animal Kingdom Zoo thing? Uh, well, this was yeah. We were watching the North Carolina Zoo, but mm -hmm. yeah, every animal is sassy and has a big personality. North Carolina, their animals are feisty. Feisty. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's right. <laughs> Sassy and feisty and all that. Well, welcome to our vacation day vlog. Is that what today is? I guess so. Our vacation day vlog. We're gonna start the day off with donuts. Cause when you're on vacation, <laughs> that's what you do, right? Donuts and apparently chocolate. And chocolate. Because you eat chocolate at nine o'clock in the morning. No one had to know what time it was. They know now. Full so, transparency. Well, these are the donuts we got in our last video from the West End Bakery in Asheville. Mm -hmm. And unfortunately they are now a day old, but that's okay because right. they're still going to be delicious. So this is their toffee um, donut and it's made with like a brioche dough and then I, I warmed it up in the microwave for about 30 seconds. Otherwise it'd be hard as a rock. Yeah, otherwise you would have to crack through it. And then we also have a Boston cream donut, which I just might be me eating. Yeah, I'm not doesn't gonna really eat like that. Boston cream. So, I'm not gonna eat that. That's shall we gross. dig right into it before it gets cold? I guess so. All right, I'm gonna cut. Oh my gosh. Oh wow. Oh, you need to get a. <laughs> That's the toffee. Holy cannoli. No, it's a donut. Cannolis have cream in them. I love cannolis. That's for you. My goodness, this might pull our fillings out. It might. Be very careful. That's not what Elmer Fudd says. Oh my gosh. If Elmer Fudd was from Buffalo, maybe. We are never going to get this off this fork. Knife, whatever it is. Okay, ready? Yep. Cheers. I guess. Cheers. Sticky. Mm. Mm hmm. It is good. Mm hmm. Mm. It's a really good dough. It's very bread like. <laughs> you think so? Yeah. I really like it. It tastes like a really sweet dinner roll. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're not wrong. It's not bad, but I guess it is brioche. So. Oh, man. It's it, all up in my teeth. It is sticky. And there's all the all the toffee is on the fork or knife. I keep saying fork. It's kind of like a lot. <laughs> That's nice. It's just us. <laughs> and you too. Well, well, they're not gonna taste it. <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> And now I'm gonna taste the Boston cream. I didn't warm this one up because I thought that'd be weird. <laughs> well, either the cream got absorbed into the donut, but there is, get your head out of there, Stuart. Oh. There we go. There's not much cream in there. Get your head out of there, Stuart. Look at that. Yeah. That's uh, not a whole lot of dough or uh, filling. You're right. Well, there goes all the toffee. <laughs> You're right. It is a very bready, bread like very donut. Very bread like donut. Hmm. Um, they're good. They probably would have been better had we eaten them the same day. Mm -hmm. um, but considering mm -hmm. what I'm measuring it up to at this point are the beignets we had, mm. it's nothing like that. Where we're staying, there is another donut place nearby. If we go get more donuts, we'll film it and we will uh, compare so and contrast. Someone Joel says if. I mean when. when. <laughs> I mean, I'm still eating it. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're, they're good. good. Yeah, but probably best to eat them fresh day of. Mm -hmm. 
All right, guys, we're back with now chocolate. As you can see, we've already dived in. Dove in? Dove in. Dove in. Uh, dip it. Dipped our toes so into the chocolate. So this comes from the chocolate fetish in Asheville, North Carolina. Um, and they had a whole mess of things that you could have picked from. Uh, they really pride themselves on their truffles. Yes. Is that what it was? Mm-hmm. Um, but they have other odds and ends of things that you can get as well. So yeah. um, if I remember to, I will link, because they do have a website. I'll link that in the description. Because everyone wants to go on Ch to the <laughs> computer and type in chocolatefetish.com. <laughs> so that's a thing. Uh, so in full transparency, there was a raspberry one in here that I ate two days I'm ago. I'm taking over the screen again. Or something. But uh, it was go. delicious. Great raspberry flavor. It was a dark chocolate. Um, with like, a, I guess, a raspberry chocolate filling. So um, it was really good. So that's yeah. all I know at this point. <laughs> we got a box of 12. So Stuart picked six and I picked six. Um, also, I've also had a bite of a few. And everything that I've tasted has been really good. And really rich in that you're satisfied with one bite. Yes, yes. I would yeah. agree with that. So it's probably good that we're about to take six bites of six chocolates. They can be small bites. <laughs> you only have to taste five. That's right, I only have to take five, taste five. So since I only have five, you might as well start. Okay, well I'll start with the one that I've tasted already. Get that out of the way. This is a res the raspberry cheesecake. I don't know, you can, there's not really much to see anymore. It's a chocolate truffle with a little pink heart on it. And uh, it's delicious, but I'll have a little bit more. <laughs> No, it's creamy, it's a really good raspberry flavor. The chocolate is nice and creamy and not waxy like mm -hmm. chocolate is sometimes. Delicious. All right, um, I think I'm gonna start with this one. All of mine are dark chocolate mm -hmm. because I love dark chocolate. So this is the dark chocolate peanut butter melt away. So there's that. Is it really it's good? golden. It's pretty good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the dark chocolate and peanut butter. The peanut butter is not overpowering. Yeah. Um, which sometimes when you get peanut butter things, you can lose the chocolate with the peanut butter that's in the center. Um, but that's a good blend of peanut butter and chocolate. And really, there's not a whole lot of bitterness from the dark chocolate, which is nice too, so, yeah. I have two mystery ones, but I don't remember <laughs> what I got. So this one is something white chocolatey with chocolate in the center. I think I got a Kahlua one, and this might be the Kahlua one, but I really don't remember. So we'll taste it. Some of these we don't remember what exactly we got. Does it taste kalui? Only slightly. Mm. But the white chocolate is really good. White chocolate is never good. Mm. It's my favorite. Mm. I knew there was something wrong with you. We're opposites. We both <laughs> each other out. <laughs> um, all right. So I think the next one I want to go with is another melt away. This is the mint melt away. Something that Joelle would not like. She does no, not like mint. No, I do not like mint. Um, so I'll give this a try. Mm -hmm. Minty? Does it taste like chocolate toothpaste? You would probably think so, but it's a very subtle mint. It's uh -huh. not overpowering. It's nice, kind of like an Andes mint, but not as strong. Yeah. So, yeah, I enjoy it. You probably wouldn't. This is another mystery one. Just chocolate. And I don't remember what it is. <laughs> mm, that's really hard. And unfortunately we didn't have the camera with us, so we didn't take footage inside, but this might actually be one of yours. Oh it yeah? It's like dark chocolate. Oh. I am all. I kind of thought when we were there, I think he kind of messed up. Yeah. Undercounted what Joelle was getting and overcounted with mine. Mm -hmm. So 
it's quite possible I this got seven of them. This might be, didn't you get one of those that was like three different kinds of chocolates? And I don't think so. No? It definitely tastes like dark chocolate to me. It looks like dark chocolate. I'm gonna put it on Stuart's side of the box. <laughs> so she wasn't a fan of that. No, this you'll might probably the, love it. You know what, this might be the satin sin thing. Mmm. Yeah, then what's this? We have one that's wrapped in green. That's dark chocolate, right? Yeah, that's dark chocolate. It's very smooth in the center though. That's right, because I got two like caramels. Mmm. One's a salted caramel and one is... I know, that looks like it has salt on it too. One was a salted something other caramel. Oh, okay. But, yeah. Oh man, I got duped. She got duped. Cheated. He put one of her mine on her side. Not cool. Oh. Well, I know what the last three are of mine, so that's good. All right. So, <clears throat> I'll go with the... Caramel. I think that's the salted What I'm guessing caramel. is just the salted caramel, because there's just with dark salt, chocolate. Dark chocolate. Ooh. Mm. I always love the combination of salt and caramel. How mm. is the caramel? Is it a nice texture? Mm -hmm. It's not super sticky. Yep. Like it's not getting stuck in my teeth. It's a good caramel, good flavor. Mm -hmm. All right, this one Wait. I know what it is. <clears throat> oh, go ahead if you're not talking. I'm just choking on my own spit. Oh, okay. Okay, never mind. Move along. This is coconut and chocolate. I'm pretty excited about this one. Mm. That is like the best mountains bar you've ever had. <laughs> it's delicious. Mm. All right, so what do you have left? These two. Just two? Okay. You have those two. All right, the next one is a dark chocolate pistachio caramel something. I don't remember. They're normally what they called, called turtles. Right. But they didn't call them turtles at the. Right. the chocolate place but that's basically what it is i don't know how this this caramel's gonna hold up we'll see oh it seems like it actually well oh. bit mm. through really well that's good yeah mm -hmm. you like pistachio so I do. That's probably it's good. the pistachio with the caramel and the chocolate good, combo. good combination definitely worth it yeah very much like a turtle mm -hmm. um but it's a, yeah, these things are rich. <laughs> right? <laughs> All right. This one is key lime, which I've already taken a bite out and it's, it's good. And it has like a graham cracker crumb on the bottom, which I think is really cool. I do key love lime. key lime. I think the key lime flavor balances out the richness of the chocolate with the tartness of the lime. Mm -hmm. It's really good. All right. Uh, my last one is a mystery salted caramel thing because I don't remember what it was I got. Mm, we're great at this. Maybe I'll remember when I bite into it. Okay. Wouldn't it be funny if it wasn't caramel? It is. Oh, oh, that's right. Is it the spicy one? It's the habanero <gasps> salted caramel. And you took a big bite. <laughs> <laughs> Do you need some water? No. Okay. <laughs> That's probably why it's wrapped, so that it doesn't get anything else spicy. Oh, that makes sense now. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's funny. Okay. <laughs> Flavor-wise, <laughs> the chocolate with the caramel, once again, and the salt is great. When you're not expecting <laughs> it's heat, it's a little offsetting, but it's got a nice heat to it. It lingers a bit, so you would not like that. No. And I'm glad I tasted it before you were like, well, let's see what this is. Right? <laughs> you couldn't, I didn't, I mean, I smelled the top and I couldn't get any mm -hmm. of heat. Right. So, if you're looking to play a prank on somebody. Oh my God. Who does not like heat, that's a way to do it. I like it. I think it's good. I don't know that I can eat more than a bite at a time. <laughs> and you took like that, a really big bite of it. You like ate half of it at once. <laughs> that was one of those I bit into it like, oh, chocolate caramel and immediate regret. Ah, but I'm glad we got that on camera. Oh no, it was it's it's delicious. Um, I like the combination. My last one is a chai, a chai spice one, which I haven't tried yet. What? I'm just remembering because remember the conversation. Then don't you want to try one of the spicy ones? Mm mm-hmm. Ooh, this is really good. 
It's got all the chai spices and chocolate. So mm -hmm. it's like chocolate and warm spices. It's really good. Not like um, habanero spice? No, not like hot, warm, <laughs> like warm and cozy. Warm and cozy instead of hot and burning. Do you have a favorite? Um, hmm. I think I'm gonna have to go with the salted caramel without just the regular, just one? The regular okay. one. Um, yeah, I think that one's really well done. They're all really well done. Mm -hmm. Um, I would say that my least favorite is probably that satin sin one. Um, just the one that's plain. Just the one that's kind of plain mm -hmm. regular chocolate. For me, I think a lot of times when you try to overdo it with chocolate, it gets to be it gets dull and it gets to be too much. Yeah. But. Well, I have to say. Everything is delicious. Yes. And I think it was kind of expensive. We paid we about like, $30 for this for box the of chocolates. Well. But, I don't know, I think it's it's worth like mm -hmm. it's worth it, I think. Uh, not it, all the time. Not all the special time. Occasions. Special occasions. It's definitely worth mm -hmm. a, uh, you know, worth a try. Uh, they have just a, this is just a sampling. They had like a whole case that was just truffles. Yep. And so there were so many other flavors that we didn't get. Um, <clears throat> but... This stuff is all delicious, and I would recommend that if you're in Asheville to stop by and then try. Yeah, and if you stop by this place, there's a ton of other cute shops right up and down the same street. Mm -hmm. It's a neat place to check out. Yeah. Especially when you're from the country like us, and you don't get to go to cool places <laughs> very often. <laughs> it's from the country. Um, <laughs> Not the, the, the major <laughs> suburbs, the, the yeah, rural, rural, rural areas. Um, yeah, so I guess when you don't have much like this around you, anything's really a treat. But yes. Um, definitely worth it if you come to Asheville to check that check that out. So uh, we are going to sign off for now. We'll catch and you later. We'll see what the rest of the day holds. Good morning, guys. We are back with our last full day. Oh, of so sad. Vacation. We'll be heading back to uh, Pennsylvania tomorrow. Uh, we'll drive about halfway, get into Virginia, and then make the rest of the trip on the day after that. Monday. Monday. Um, but uh, we wanted to check in. Uh, give you a little bit of an update of what we did yesterday, which wasn't a whole lot. Um, well, some of it is in another video. Mm -hmm. But yeah. yeah, we just kind of hung out. We didn't really do... We just hung out. We watched TV, mm -hmm. uh, read a book. Um, we played some games, which is in another video. So if you want to watch us play Villainous, check that video out. Or it's coming soon. I don't know. Yeah, it'll probably go after the vacation stuff goes up. But we so. all we went out for dinner. And we went we to do. White Duck Tacos. Yes. And so we've got some footage that we'll put in so you can well, see it. we're talking about it. Yep. And we got, Stuart got three tacos. I got two mm -hmm. as well as some queso. And this kind of shop, they have really interesting tacos. Right. So why don't you so say what you got? I ended up getting a lamb gyro taco. I got a pork belly taco. And then a duck, duck mole, mm -hmm. I think was the third one that I got um, and they were all delicious uh, they were deceptively filling right and followed by immediate regret afterwards <laughs> um, of those three I would say that the, uh, the lamb gyro was my favorite that was an absolutely delicious taco they were about four fifty to five dollars each mm -hmm. so be a bit pricey for the tacos but i, I will mean, say quality maybe. wise it was worth it but if you were to go out as a single person and order two tacos and a drink it'd be under 15 bucks right. yep. that's not bad so the three tacos i got were delicious um i thought the lamb gyro was the best then the duck and then the pork belly yeah um the problem that i have with the pork belly is that with the other flavors and it wasn't a lot but it was it was uh, a green pickled, onion watermelon aioli. rind and a green onion aioli um and then they were corn tortillas, so the flavor of the pork kind of got lost. But still good, still worth trying. Um, yeah, so my three were, were delicious. And then I ordered the queso and chips. And the queso was really good. It was, wasn't was just like like cheese whiz, like like vel melted Velveeta. It was, I don't know, it was garlicky and like green, what is it, green chili. Mm -hmm. It was really good. And then the tacos I got were a shrimp and grits taco and a chicken tikka masala taco. And they were both really good. The chicken tikka masala was more flavorful, but also more spicy. <laughs> and it had fried chickpeas on it, which I really enjoyed. Um, 
Yeah. I wouldn't go anywhere near a chickpea. They're they were gross. really good. But they have probably 15 different tacos that you could get. All yeah. different flavor combinations. So while we tried five of them, there were many more that we right. could have tried. So they, they had like a buffalo chicken one, they had a Bangkok shrimp one, they had, they had a steak and cheese. Steak and cheese. So they had a, a few other, a number of other flavors that we didn't get. Yeah. And, um, yeah. I if, would go back. Yeah. If we were going to be around longer, that would be a return place. Um, so I would say if you're in the, where are we, Mills? But they're all around Asheville. There's multiple yeah. locations. Yeah. So they have multiple locations. Um, but absolutely delicious and definitely worth, worth checking out. All right. So uh, for this morning then, I think that was it for yesterday. And as Joel said, we played some Villainous, which will be another video. Mm -hmm. um, and our plan for today is to finish up with the Villainous thing that we're doing. We've got some donuts here that we went to Ava's. Donuts make you go nuts. And we got half a Ooh. dozen. Oh, you almost lost, almost them. lost them. Half a dozen donuts, which was about $10. Um, but they're kind of ginormous. They are. Probably and a knife. What do you think? Yeah, probably. And so we got half a dozen. We had stopped in last night on our way back from the taco place, but they only had like glazed and stuff left, so we... Right, it was almost six o'clock at night. Yeah. And we figured we'll just go back in the morning and there'll be a bigger yep. variety. And there was. And there was. So we have six varieties to try here. So I guess we'll start wherever. One of them I will not eat. But Which right. one? The, the, the cream filled. Oh, one. okay. Um, but well, then let's leave that one for last. That's fine. So where do we want to start? How about the glazed sour cream? Because that's kind of the plainest. Okay. The the old fashioned. It's a glazed. For those of you that eat Dunkin', it's a glazed sour cream. <laughs> they called it an old fashioned. I know they did. Which is one of my favorite kinds of donuts. Old fashions? No, glazed sour oh. cream. <laughs> The donut. That's pretty good. The center has an interesting texture. Yeah, because you glaze it when it's hot. So mm -hmm. the glaze seeps in mm -hmm. to the donut in the where it cracks. Gotcha. And so it gets a little chewy. Gotcha. Okay. <laughs> yeah, good flavor, sweet, donutty. Uh, definitely worth uh, trying to get that one. What are your thoughts now that you got a mouthful of donut? I love it. <laughs> it's good. I love it. It's good. Ring endorsement. Next is the red velvet, which is just chocolate. No, it's red velvet. It's chocolate. So it's very red. <laughs> Let's see if it's velvety. Mm. That's not bad. That's really good. It has a really nice flavor. It does. Mm. We are full of descriptive words. Um, I'm not a huge, like, like, I don't have a wide knowledge of red velvet, is what I was going for, so. Uh huh. Does it taste red velvety? I think so. There you go. <laughs> That's why you come to this channel for descriptive. For the details. Descriptive food. <laughs> Food All words. Right. The next one is a maple bacon donut. Yeah, so those were the two cake donuts. Yeah. Now the rest are all like dough donuts. <laughs> dough nuts. <laughs> As opposed to cake nuts. No one calls them cake nuts. They should. That would be so weird. Trademark cake nuts. All right. I the one with little bits of bacon on it. I have to say, this is the maple bacon. I wish there was more bacon on oh, yeah, it. Yeah, the bacon is a little chintzy. It has a nice maple flavor. It does have a nice maple flavor, but they also have just a maple glazed donut. Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah, here you can see. It's it's a really good flavor, but yes, I wish the bacon there was more bacon to it. Mm -hmm. Um, mm. I think we had gone to a donut shop in Jim Thorpe and gotten their maple bacon donut, and I think it had bacon on it. Mm -hmm. But we got six donuts for ten dollars. Mm -hmm. So they were less than two dollars a donut. If you bought these separately, I think every donut was over two dollars a piece. I don't think so. 
Do we get pictures of the of the I got the footage menu? of the menu. Alright, well you'll see. A lot of the specialty donuts were over two dollars right. a piece. But I think at Jim Thorpe we paid like three to four dollars a donut. Right. So you're getting different level of value thing. Right. So the next is the toasted coconut. Which I like a good toasted coconut donut. And hopefully it's a good toasted coconut donut. When we made these at Dunkin', if you don't know, I used to work at Dunkin' as a bakery. Um, Not we, a sponsor. No. We covered the whole donut in coconut. Mm. Well, la di da. Yeah, we were fancy like that. This one is just topped with coconut. Mm. Making a mess. Mm. It's good. It's really good. Mm -hmm. It's nice and soft. The coconut is not overpowering. Yeah. But it's there. It's a nice sweetness. Um, yeah, and I don't. It's a nice donut dough too. It is. Yeah. So. Not not ready at all. It's just. I mean, nice. for those that are not fans of coconut, it still does have kind of that coconut texture there. Mm -hmm. um, but the flavor is good. I don't think it's overpoweringly coconutty. Um, but really good donut. Next is the apple fritter. Yeah, these look very heavily fried. It's like really yeah. dark. So the way that they, they do their half dozens, um, you can get whatever donuts that they consider like smaller donuts and then larger donuts. A fritter is a larger donut. Yep. Um, so you can get one of those in each of the half dozens and I think it's two in the- In the dozen. In the dozen. Or you pay extra. All right. It's an apple fritter. I wish it was more apple-y. Mine didn't have much apple mm. in it. I got a piece of apple. Mm. So, yeah, it's good. I think it might be right. They may have over-fried that a little bit. It's very crispy. It's pretty crispy. Mm -hmm. Aside from that though, good flavor. Mm -hmm. um, I have not been disappointed by any of these. And now, the one that Joelle is really excited about. I don't know about cutting it. Although I'm interested to see how fill, like how full they fill. Oh, and so, full. yeah, it does. And so when you go, if you get one of these donuts, you can actually choose the filling. And they fill it fresh for you. Oh yeah, it's pretty full. Ooh, yeah, it is actually. So, they had fruit fillings. They had this is what is butter this? Cream, butter, butter cream. Just butter cream. They had lemon, raspberry, apple, strawberry, buttercream. Mm -hmm. Oh, and a Boston cream. Yeah. Like a custard. So. Go for it. So this buttercream just like a um, cake frosting? Mm -hmm. well, let me get a little piece then. Yeah. That's exactly what it is. My I'm issue sure is that it. it's pudding-y. No. I'm sure that they buy it in big tubs. You don't think they make it there? Uh. How hard is it to make buttercream? Not hard. But it's cheaper to buy it. <laughs> Got a lot of frosting. Mm -hmm. It's a buttercream a that's a little closer to the whipped buttercream, so. which I don't love. I think it's just because it gets to be too sweet. Yeah, it is sweet. Um, that would be something you need to have with like a glass of milk or a coffee. Mm -hmm. My hands, I don't know what to do with my hands, they're all covered in glaze. <laughs> but that being said, these are delicious donuts. Um, and when we were looking around, it's highly rated and we had to stand in line yeah. for the donuts and it it's a like, small shop and so like but there was a constant there people was coming in um and it granted, was saturday morning too we were only four people deep in line right. um but yeah it's a, it's a small shop but it makes sense why they're busy as busy they are and the nice thing is you can go there i think they sold coffee there yeah but if you would want like if you're a bigger fan of starbucks that's right next to Or door. you wanted a latte um, and if you're there for lunch or whatever, you can go to Salsaritas and then get donuts. So, win-win. Everybody wins. <laughs> so, I think that's going to do it for us for now. Um, we might do some geocaching today. Mm -hmm. I think that's the goal. It's going to be a little warmer today, so we'll take you along if we do that. Um, but yeah, we'll check in later with whatever the day holds. Sounds good. See you guys. Hey there guys, we are home, as you can tell from the background, background that we're not in the Airbnb where we last recorded. Um, and in all honesty, this is like three weeks later. 
because outros are not a good thing for us. Um, we like to just abruptly end videos. So the last thing that you would have seen would have been us trying the different donuts that we got at, I forget the name of the place, but you just saw it, so I don't need to say what it is. Um, <laughs> we prepare so well for this. <laughs> Uh, but we just wanted to kind of wrap up the trip, uh, give you our overall impression of Asheville and the surrounding area. Uh, and just one or two of our favorite things that we encountered while being on vacation in Asheville. Um, so, do you want to start or do you want me to start? Sure, the last few days in Asheville we didn't really do much. I mean, we ate a lot of food as you just saw. But aside from that, we really just took the time to, you know, have fun together. We brought a bunch of board games, so we played some Villainous, which you'll see in another video. And I was able to read some books. Stuart was able to do some things that he enjoys. And it was just a really nice, peaceful time with nothing that we were required to do, which was just really nice. Right. We really we enjoyed the hot tub. Um, that was just really relaxing in the evenings and and cooking in the kitchen. We didn't cook anything crazy and we didn't show you because it was pretty simple stuff. Right. But yeah, it was just nice. Yeah, um, I would agree that as far as the vacation went, it was very relaxing, more relaxing than we usually do because usually we have all kinds of things going. Well, and, and coming up on our next vacation, it won't be very relaxing. <laughs> That's um, a little hint. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so it was just nice to get away to um, not have a lot of stuff on the agenda and to just kind of take it easy for the week. Yeah, that's not the norm when we go on vacation. We usually have stuff we want to do. Mm -hmm. And yeah. I think there's value to both. Right. So I would definitely say that as far as like the trip to Asheville, um, if we were looking for just a time to get away with not a lot of stuff on the agenda, um, I'd be up for going back. Yeah, I think I mean, Asheville is a very outdoorsy, like there's a lot of things to do outdoors and going in January, we couldn't really take advantage of that. Not that we're big outdoorsy people anyway, but the there are sites on. to see that I would have liked to have seen. There are a couple easy hikes to waterfalls and the Blue Mountain Ridge Parkway, Parkway, Blue mm -hmm. Mountain Ridge, that we didn't really get a chance to explore at all. So I would love to go back in the spring, summer or fall when we could do some of that stuff. Right. And yeah, we're not hiking people, but some of those ones that are easy to get to, some of the outlooks, I think, uh, probably would have been nice to, to do. Right. But with the temperature and weather being what it was when we were there, it just wasn't wasn't the time of year for that. Um, I would say that, you know, yeah, so if we're looking for just a relaxing vacation, Asheville's a nice place to go. Yeah. Um, where you can do as much or as little as you, you choose to do. Mm -hmm. um, I guess uh, we'll talk a bit about our favorite things uh, that we encountered while there. So do you have yours figured out? Sure. Um, I enjoyed the Biltmore and I think we talked about it in our first video where it was a really neat tour. You got to see a lot of the house, the upstairs, and then also the downstairs of where like the servants and the, oh, they were servants. They would have been the employees at that point in time, right? Mm, I don't, I'm not sure how that worked. Early 1900s United States maybe servants. I mean, they may have been they paid. They still would have been paid, but, probably. Yeah. But it was nice to see both aspects of the building. Um, I don't know if it was my favorite. I think that really my favorite thing we did in Nashville was all of the different food that we tried. Um, specifically the barbecue, and I would love to go back because there was some stuff we didn't get a chance to try. Um, yeah. But just having the option of more than a few different kinds of food to try is yeah. always nice. Because where we live, it's basically... Italian or Pennsylvania Dutch and that's pretty much all you got. Oh, there's a Chinese place right down the road. <laughs> yeah, I know, but like, that, I don't know if that counts. And so, a Mexican place that opened that's up true. We're, not we're far from us. We're getting high class so. here. Um, but yeah, I appreciated all the different kinds of food to try. Yeah, I think as far as what we may have missed, um, typically around vacations we do a lot of different restaurants and things like mm -hmm. that. We went a little more budget friendly for this right. trip so we didn't eat out all that much. Um, so that would have been nice to do a little more of. Do a little more of. So right. if we ever take another trip back down there, we may put more emphasis on that. Um, mm -hmm. And then if we do go during spring or whatever, we'll put more emphasis on some of the overlooks and things like that as well. But I think my favorite thing would have to be the retro arcade. Awesome. Um, that was just fun. Uh, for me anyway. Right. 
if you're not into nostalgic yeah pinballs and video games and you know i grew up in the 80s and early 90s where arcades were a, a thing, a thing. Mm -hmm. so it was neat to to see that um it kind of makes you wish there were more businesses like that anywhere that yeah. you go um you know, not necessarily with the bar, but I could see a, yeah, like a coffee shop and arcade. But the thing bar is probably where they make the most of their money. Oh, I'm so sure. I get that. I'm sure, but yeah, just a fun experience. Um, but the food was good. Um, I think I really enjoyed the tacos. Yeah, that was fun. Um, I would have liked to have gone back and tried three new tacos. Right. <laughs> so I think if we go back to Asheville, that's definitely a place we will revisit. Right. Um, so that gets high marks for us in terms of like. Not that we went to a lot of places for food, but that's a must go to was, was white duck donuts. Is that what it was white called? White duck tacos. Or tacos, not donuts. Yeah, um, yeah but uh, overall, very relaxing trip. Um, I don't think, well, I would say if there's anything that we did that we would never do again, at least for me, was that Da Vinci experience mm. thing mm -hmm. or something similar to that. Um, the Biltmore might be nice to go back to when the gardens are in bloom. Right. Um, yeah, there'd be more to see at that point in time. But, you know, for what it was and the time of year, uh, it was it was neat to, yep. to check out that uh, that house. But, um, yeah, overall, we I enjoyed the trip. I thought it was, as I said, a nice relaxing time. Yeah, I enjoyed both places we stayed. I yeah, thought they, they were, were very great. Nice. And I did link the first area. Uh, the first Airbnb we stayed, which was the year uh, that should be in the first video. I don't remember if I linked the second one or not. I have, I'm not sure. Um, if I didn't, I will link it below in this video uh, so you can check that out. But uh, yeah, overall, nice vacation. Yeah. Um, we do have another one coming up in May that Joelle convinced me to do. <laughs> so um, we'll give more details on that as we get closer to it. But uh, yeah, I would really like to film when we go on that vacation because I really enjoy having them to look back on. Yeah, they're nice. Yeah, they are nice memories, and I think our family appreciates it too because right. they're able to see a lot of the stuff that we do. So um, I think they live vicariously through our trips. It's so. possible. <laughs> So anyway, uh, I think that's going to do it for this video. So we thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch and come along with us. Um, as we try to get better with recording and stuff, we'll get more material in the future when we go on trips. Well, this is something that we enjoy doing. It is. And that the two of us can do together. Mm -hmm. Whether we're on a trip or just doing something fun at home. So we're going to try and make an effort to do that. Right. So thanks so much for checking it out. And we'll catch you in the next video. Bye. Bye.